Hey FK gang, how y'all doing today? Welcome back to Fergie's Kitchen. So all right, today I'm going to make some um, veggie chunk, some stew veggie chunk with um, some bulga and brown rice together. And um, with this, I'm gonna use some vegetable broth. And then I have my spell flour and old, old wheat flour that I'll be mixing together to make my um, spinners, my little dumplings. And here is my pimento seed, my orange peel powder, coconut oil. This is my molasses, my coconut amino acid. This is my savory spice blend with some vegetable bouillon. Um, some rosemary and garlic, and all these little spices, spices, basil, um, celery seed, cumin, parsley, thyme, coriander, bay leaf, some mustard, and cayenne pepper. And over here, is my chayote, my chocho, Irish, onion. I forgot to get some um, um, large tomatoes. I have these sun-dried tomatoes. They're just gonna make it sweet, right? These are sweet pepper, hot pepper, thyme, scallion, and uh, yellow bell pepper with some garlic, lots of garlic here and here. And my um, carrots. Did I say sweet potato? I hope so. So this is my ingredients for today. But first, I'm going to, um, this ingredients need eight ounces of veggie chunks. And this is a 16 ounce bag. Yep, perfect. I'm going to put it to soak for 10 minutes in warm water. Just put enough water to cover it. I'll see you when I get back. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Burgess Kitchen. You see all these ingredients? Don't be overwhelmed. I'm just going to make love in the kitchen today. See you soon. So guys, one thing is missing from my, um, from my ingredients is my coconut milk. How can I forgot that? It was in the freezer. This is freshly squeezed coconut milk. But I also have something to tell you guys. Um, here, all these ingredients that I'm using today, it's because I have the time I'm doing it. If you don't have the time, you can just use Mrs. Dash and some browning because here, all these ingredients are in Mrs. Dash, all right? And the browning, I'm replacing the browning with a little bit of sugar, like a teaspoon of brown sugar. I'll burn it and show you. And also with my molasses, all right? So I'm just gonna squeeze the water out. And now that all the water is out, I'm gonna put like a like a teaspoon of dry thyme, my vegetable bouillon, and like a tablespoon of molasses and rub it in together. Just the way you season your meat. And I'm just gonna let it sit and marinate a little bit. Okay, my gang, over here with my, my Dutch fat already hot, I'm gonna put one tablespoon of sugar. 
This is Turbana sugar. Let's use dark brown sugar. A fourth of a cup of coconut oil. My coconut oil is melted because it's so warm, guys. And with that, I'm gonna add four cloves of garlic and one small onion. I'm gonna let this saute for like four minutes. Over here, my bulgur and rice. Now you fluff it up with a fork. Turn off the heat and let it sit for another five, 10 minutes covered. Guys, you notice I didn't put salt in it because I used the vegetable broth and that has sodium in it. And now I'm gonna add my veggie chunk. Mix it up guys and let the, the season and the oil soak in it. After it's all soaked in, like for a minute, then I'm gonna add my hot pepper, a half a cup of coconut milk, with a half a cup of water. And this I'm gonna leave on medium heat to cook for like 15, 20 minutes before adding the rest of my seasoning. So guys, I'm just gonna add a few pimento seeds. Okay guys, let's be for real here now. See what's going on in the pot. This looks like stew beef. I'm gonna add another um, half a cup of water shortly. All right guys. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Bergie's Kitchen. 20 minutes. Let's see what's going on over here. <coughs> so now I'm gonna add about a half a cup of water, an eighth of a spoon of parsley. Same for my basil. And this is my rosemary and garlic com combined together. With a half a spoon of my savory spice blend. Now I'm gonna add, this is two pieces of bay leaf with my um, spice that I blend my bell peppers. tablespoon of coconut amino and another tablespoon of molasses. Guys, you don't even need rice with this. You can have this just by itself. This is all veggies. Vegan, plant-based. I'm gonna have this cook for another 10 minutes for the vegetables to be cooked. So now I have to wash my hands to make my Spinners. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Fergie's Kitchen. Just... 
you. Remember, turn your fire down to low after you put your um, veggies in, your vegetables, because you want it to simmer. Simmer all the way to the end. You know the song will say? Simmer down. So guys, put water in as you go. Sell it nice and thick. I'm gonna put a little bit more water in to um to cook my dumplings. So here. So my FK gang, the end of another segment. Here is your veggie brown stew with bulgur and brown rice. I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, just so you know the bulgur, the bulgur is high in vitamin B, three, six, and one for your nervous system. It's full with magnesium, zinc, copper, and iron. And the brown rice has folic acid, and B9 that is missing from the bulgur. So guys, you're having like everything together for your cardiovascular um, system. It, it's just perfect and it's filling and it's healthy and it's vegan. So, you know, I love it and I'm not vegan. But you see that dumpling on the on the top that belongs to me. I love me them dumplings. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoy. And as you know, I have a scripture for you guys for the day. Uh, my scripture today is coming from 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And from Fergus Kitchen to you guys today. Nothing is more honorable than a grateful heart. So you see, the scripture is telling you how about to give thanks and my message is for you to have a grateful heart. What are you grateful for today? I'm grateful that I woke up this morning. I'm grateful that I'm in the kitchen with you guys today. And I'm grateful that I'm sharing all my delicious recipes. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Fergus Kitchen. And I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy. Bye-bye.